greetings guys i welcome you in this beautiful video uh so uh in this video i'm going to be sharing you a wonderful strategy for trading uh volatility 75 index you can use it also in trading other assets so uh just before i can get started uh please just like the video because you know that it is going to be helpful just like it and you can share it with your friends so this strategy that i'm sharing today it is revolving under a simple principle a principle of pivot points or a principle of uh, support and the resistance so there are no complications it is just a simple and a straightforward strategy that is going to help you so uh if you have something if you have a, a suggestion of a video that i should make next just drop it on the comment below so i am doing this for you guys so i should hear out what you want me to make so if you have a suggestion uh just drop it in the comment below and if you don't have any suggestion just uh say something in the comment below just comment it helps uh the channel a lot just drop a comment and like this video so when it comes to a uh, pivot, pivot point so if you are using MetaTrader, you can also uh, download uh, pivot points from anywhere in the internet. They are free. Uh, it is just a free indicator. Uh, okay, I will link it on the description below. I will just uh, put it on the description below so that you can download it for MetaTrader. But then for this uh, trading view HTML, you can just simply go to indicators and you will uh, see pivots and then you will uh, click uh, into your screen. Let me just scroll down. Uh, where is it? There we are. Pivot point standard. And then you click it. Uh, it will be in your screen. So what you need to know here is that we have uh, three different things. We have this P, which is uh, our pivot. I've just made it bold here. And we have this S, which is our support, and the R, which stands for resistance. So we have support, resistance, and a pivot. So the pivot, it is simply like a center where price revolve from. It is simply like a center. For an example, if we see the, the, the P here, it, when price is down, it means that price is is going to go back up or it simply means that price is revolving around this it is just like the center that why with then the arrows on the uh on the above side and the supports are on the below side so this is like the center so simply when price is below the pivot it simply means that you should be looking for uh support and if it's above it simply means you should be looking for resistance so how do you go about this strategy so what you need to understand is that now when you are using this strategy you don't need to stress yourself about plotting any key point because this indicator has plotted for you the significant points for an example in this kind of a scenario we have uh these uh four significant points with this first one here it's a significant level we have this second one here, a significant level. We have uh, a third one here, a significant level. And we have a fourth one here, a significant level. So what it means is that you, as a trader, you are only interested on these four levels at this moment, on level one, on level two, on level three, and on level four. So these are the only areas or zones of interest when it comes to your trading so what does that mean it means that when price approaches this support here that's where you pay focus on how it approaches it for an example in this case it approached it with huge strength from the seller side that why it was a breakout so now you're also interested on how is price going to approach then this area here you see then you are interested on, for an example here, we have uh, the pivot here and we have a resistance plotted here. And then in the near future, boom, price reacted from it. There was no need for you to just plot a resistance. It is just auto plotting for you. So you just pay attention on how price react. So price can uh, do a few things on these key levels. It can either break out or it can either react uh by bouncing uh going on the opposite side so those are the two things that you are waiting to see as a trader either breaking out or price either reacting from 
uh, those key levels. So when it comes to breaking out, if price is going to break out, you need to know that it will break out in this manner where before the breakout happens, you should see huge strength. And if you see huge strength, it necessarily means that price is not going to react, but price is going to break out in most of the cases. But it is not always that case. But in most of the cases, it is the strength that is going to save you. So you observe the strength and then you uh, you will know what price is going to do. But I have just uh, told, taught you guys a simple way of trading breakouts that if the candles are big, you can enter there and there. But if the candles are small or they are getting smaller, that's where you should wait for the retest on that breakout. Don't just trade the breakout there and there. If the candles are small or if the momentum is small, you should wait for a retest and then you are ready to go in the trade. So when it comes then to price reacting, same thing applies. You have to just wait and see how is price reacting. Don't just sell from there. For an example, we see here, uh, a big candle and then two small candles and then price is going down. You can't just press your sell button here because you're seeing price uh, starting to go down. But you have to see a proof that why I I always speak about the, the, the pattern being broken. For an example here, the flow, the upward flow, it was broken somewhere around here. And then when it is broken, that's where you're being convinced. Why? Because you can see that we have now a high which is lower than the previous one and even same thing applies a low and also a low and also another high so it is just clear that now the price is flow flowing in a downward structure so that's where you can sell somewhere around here not up there why because there is no confirmation yet so i hope that it's making sense guys just make sure that you are not entering there and there you just observe the strength of the price which is demonstrated by either the kanglis or either the waves so when it comes to kanglis you look at the size of the kanglis and same thing applies on the waves you look at the size and the flow of the wave you are not looking forward to join a struggling site if the sellers are struggling you can't join them and if the buyers are struggling you can't join them so go guys and plot this onto your indicate onto your charts so uh let me just hear from you in the comment below if this was helpful uh just uh comment below so go guys go and apply this into your uh trading and it is going to help you there is no need for you to plot support and resistance it is just going to do the job for you so thank you for watching this video remember to like and share and or uh, and uh the most important thing just subscribe and enjoy your trading i wish you all the best thank you